Eddie, it's really exciting and brilliant to meet you. Thank you. The film is getting some uh, really amazing reviews and oh, it, it seems to be fantastic. very, people are really loving it from, yeah. and, uh, from the people I've spoken to. Um, we, you know, we've got boxing movies, there's American football movies, and now we have a ski jumping film. Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the dream. It's incredible. Who'd have thought, I mean, I, in a million years, never thought when I, when I plummeted to infamy at the Calgary Olympics 28 years ago, that they would make a movie about my life. And not only that, it's an incredible film. They've, they've really captured the heart and the spirit of the story 28 years ago. And uh, it, it makes me cry every time I see it. It's a, it's a wonderful film and uh, I, I hope people enjoy it. One of the things they do really well is capture the, the adrenaline that must be coursing through you. I mean, you must be completely mad. For, for what, I mean, when you're watching it, you, it's very cleverly captures how high up you are. It does, which is why I'm very pleased in a way that it took 17 years, because I signed a deal to make this movie 17 years ago. But I'm glad it's taken that long to make because technology has moved on enormously over the last 17 years, especially in cinematography. Um, and they've really captured a jumper's eye view of what it's like when you're flying through the air. Um, and it would have been a totally different film 17 years ago. Um, you'd, have, you'd have just been up a stepladder. 17 years ago, there'd, there'd have been no, no CGI. It just no, would have that's been right. like you dangling from a crane. That's right. And they just put some skis on you or something like that. That's right. And, uh, and it just adds to the film. Uh, and, you know, when, you, when, when the film sort of comes behind me and you're looking down, you think, oh, my God, you know, that's high. Um, which is great. It adds to the, the excitement of the film. And hopefully people will realise just what it took for me, not only to just go off that jump, but to jump 71 metres and, um, you know, and perform and, uh, yeah, and get inspired by it. It's, it's, it's just an incredible film. Is there a common misconception that you were actually bad at this sport? Because you can't be bad. Coming last at the Olympics is more than the majority of anyone who's ever lived. So it must be quite frustrating for you that you're sort of seen as, you, you had ability, you just yes. weren't the best of the best. That's right, I'd been jumping for 20 months when I went to the Calgary Olympics. Everybody else there had been jumping for 20 years. So there was no way that I was gonna beat anybody. But for me, getting there was my gold medal. And some of the media were saying, oh, but he's a laugh, he's a joke, he's a flop, he's a failure, he came last. Um, but I'm hoping this movie will just show just what it took for me to get to those Olympic Games and show that, you know, I was half decent jumper. It was just that those other guys were, you know, gods, they were legends, they were the best in the world. Um, and I was just doing the best I could with what I had. And uh, I hope people have a newfound respect and a newfound, um, you know, kind of appreciation of, of what it took for me to get there and the realization of my dream getting there. Well, they're not making movies about them, are they? <laughs> That's right. They're That's right. Even Matty, I think they made a film about Matty Nukunen in Finland. But, uh... <laughs> no one saw it. <laughs> I've never heard of it. No. Can I ask you about Taron? Because um, he's, a, he's a brilliant young actor. Saw him last year in Kingsman, and then he's playing you. What did you make of his performance? He was brilliant. I met with him for uh, an afternoon. We had tea and biscuits, and we were chatting about a month before they started filming, because he wanted to get an idea of my accent and my mannerisms. And he's done a lot of research. Uh, on all the shows that I've done over the years and going to Calgary and when I met him on set for the first time it was like looking in the mirror he looked exactly like I looked 28 years ago he had the jaw the moustache the glasses uh, the hairstyle everything and it was so easy to watch the film because he, he had me down to a T. It was amazing. He's a fantastic actor, and I hope he just goes from strength to strength. He's, he was done a wonderful job. Yeah, he does. He, he obviously captures the fact that you have quite a sort of comedic style. I don't know whether yeah. it's like, you know, I don't think you're doing it deliberately, but there's obviously yeah. a sort of a, some physical comedy going on in just, in just the way, that, like, when you're... When, I mean Taron, by the way. Yes. Uh, when, yeah. he's t when he's talking or even he, he's jumping, he's able to try and capture some of that... Uh, Eccentricity. I think. Well, that's right, and 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 I was like that all the time. Um, you know, as I'm, much as he is in that, because he, he as, really does take it quite. Yeah, you know, he's, no, no, as much as as much as he was doing, that's what I. Because I used to. I mean, I love skiing and I love ski jumping, and I was always having a laugh and that kind of thing. And and sometimes I would hamming up, ham it up a bit. You know, even when I'm jumping, and you know, I used to jump with the Japanese a lot, and you know how they like karaoke, and we used to stand at the top of the jump, and I'd start singing a song, and then they'd all join in, and we'd all sing in karaoke at the top of the jump, and we just do lots of little things like that and um, you know I'm, I just love doing my thing you know skiing and ski jumping and uh, so yeah he just he just got me just perfectly and it was it was it was 